She asked me, what do I do if I've asked him to leave and he won't get out? That is a good question. So if you have an alcoholic or addict living in your house, let's say it's your husband or your wife, and you have said to them, get out, and they won't leave, there's a few things that I need to find out about. First, is it their house? Is the house in their name? Is the house in your name? How far has this gotten? Like, has this gotten bad? Have the police come? Um, do you have kids in the house? These are all questions that I ask people when I speak to them because it'll really make a big difference how you handle the situation. It's gonna be different if there's kids in the house. I don't know how long this has been going on, but I'll tell you, the first thing I would do is talk to the person. Now, you cannot talk to someone when they're drunk. The time to talk to them is not two o'clock in the morning when they walk in with a bunch of their friends, drunk and uh, being obnoxious. The best time to talk to someone who's drinking is in the morning. There's usually a sweet spot, and if you live with an alcoholic addict, you'll know what I'm talking about. When they wake up and they're sick, it's not the best time. But after they've had a drink or two, or they've gotten well with whatever it is they use, that might be the time to say, hey, I need to talk to you. Then you say something like, listen, I know you don't want to quit drinking and using. I get it, but I can't do this anymore. All right? So I think it's best if you leave. For the kids... You know, use the kids if you have to, because usually that will get their attention. Or, you know, if no kids, then uh, can you leave? Can you go find someplace else? If you own the house together, they might say, I'm not leaving, you're leaving, right? So maybe you have to leave, right? So that's the way it is. If you're paying all the bills and they're not able to work, then you could say something like, listen, <laughs> you can't pay the rent, the mortgage, the heat, the air conditioning, the phone, the cable, the gardener, the pool guy, whatever you got going there, right? You can't pay it. I can. So if you will leave, I will continue to play, pay for this until we can sell the house or I can buy you out and we'll let the attorneys handle it. But I don't want to lose the house right now. If I leave, no one will pay the bills and everything will go to shit. If they say, F you, <laughs> get out, this is my house, then I'm going to have to go to part two. Okay? See me, see me there.